All right, so this is a quick video. You know, since I got the car, a lot of people been commenting, asking how much did I pay for my car? You know, what I pay a month? You know, what did I get for my trade-in? So I've been on, you know, I've been planning on making this video. If you, if you sub to my channel and you watch my videos, just know I'm gonna make a video on pretty much like, you know, everything it is to, you know, really do with the car. But I'm doing it like, you know, on my own time, you know, fucking shit. I only got two off days and I don't always want to record. So just know if you're looking for a video or, or if you're wondering, am I going to record a video on this? Most likely the question, I mean, the answer is yes. But, you know, you see, uh, you know, I'm dropping video. I drop videos every week. I make sure I put something up every week. If you don't see the video you're looking for, just know it's coming. You know, just give me time. So, uh, I like I even saved this because I knew I was gonna be doing this video. So, so starting off, you know, you know, Scott Pack they start at thirty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety five dollars. That's base price, and then you got a whole list of options. Depending on what your car comes with, you know, which one you pick off the lot. Mine came pretty much loaded. Like, my car basically got, you know, everything it is to have on the car. And so, that brought it to a total of $48,750. Now, you know, for people start being, you know, technical, uh, no, I don't have six pistons, Brembo brakes. I got four pistons. I wouldn't know the difference in either one because once I stump on the brakes in this fucking car, it stops at a dime. So, for somebody to say, no, it's not fully loaded, because you know it basically is because I got that option, you know, because you don't have to have the Rimbo brakes. So I already got that, and then, you know, they color red. So that's that. Um, so like I said, so we at $48,750. That's for this car. That's before dock fees, taxes, you know, all that shit. That's just the price starting out. Now, I had a 2015 Dodge Challenger. SST, uh, 66,000 miles, no options. It had, you know, little dings around the car. Somebody ran into me and drove off. You know, it was, it was to me, normal wear and tear. Plus, you know, with me switching out, like, the speakers and shit, it kind of lost its sound. Like, the radio stuff, that's, like, you know, the speakers, they didn't even go loud no more. So, that's that. So, I got, you know, basically going into the dealership, I got a trade in, and if you got one of those V6 challengers, you most likely gonna be upside down. Me, my mentality going to the dealership was, I wanted them to pay my car off. I feel like for what I owe on it, they could, you know, meet me, you know, where, you know, depending on what the car is worth and, you know, what I owe on it, I knew it wasn't a big difference, and I knew if I talked to them right, they, you know, they pay my car off, so. Like I said, the new car costs forty eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, starting price before everything, and with my trade in, I owed thirteen thousand seven hundred sixty three dollars. So we just basically on that I mean that's pretty much fourteen fourteen thousand dollars now. Once you know, once I pulled up to the dealership, somebody met me in my car. I say, like, "Oh, you ready to upgrade to that V eight? I'm like, "Yeah." I'm gonna let you know right now, I'm looking for a Scat Pack twenty nineteen Scat Pack with sunroof and the sway and leather seats if it don't got that then i will wait i don't want to get no car you know now i had already looked at the you know dealership on the website and i knew they didn't have no car i wanted but i know they get cars you know they did cars from different states other dealerships so you know i just went to a dealer that uh i knew about i actually went to before i got my first car but i ended up not getting a car from them but i know other people who got cars from there so I chose that place because it was close by. I didn't feel like driving far. And like I said, they pretty much all the same thing, you know? So that's that. So I'm tired, yo. I'm going tell you right now, I'm tired. I'm tired. But I'm about to make this video. So go to the dealership with my car. We sit down. We start talking prices. Now, since I have a trade-in, they sent me to, like, you know, this guy who does rebates on their trade-ins. So I'm already about to get some extra money back because he he said I approved I you know I qualified for the rebate. So me knowing that I had I haven't like told them that I wanted them to pay my car off yet. So I owe thirteen thousand seven hundred and sixty three dollars, and a guy pulled it up on Blue Book, you know, and uh, 
pulled my car up on Blue Book, you know, before they actually looked at it because my car is still on warranty, so uh, they don't have to test drive it. They just need to make sure everything's running and, you know, they're going to do a walk around. So he said, okay, your car is worth anywhere between 10000 and eleven thousand dollars. Now, mind you, you probably think you know ten, eleven to thirteen, but basically it's fourteen. That's not like that's a lot because this car is already expensive, so you don't want to roll over anything to your new balance. So I said, okay, you know. So he told me my car is worth this, and they would try to give me the maximum amount of like eleven thousand some change. And I say, look, I owe thirteen thousand and seven hundred. You know, that's ballpark i knew i ooh around that much you know uh so i said for me to get a car from you guys i need my car to be completely paid off now i had already qualified for the rebate so down there was gonna pay my car off and i was gonna get the extra money for my trade-in so let me see pull this up so they paid my car off and i got this so let's put it like this I, I owe thirteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-three dollars and sixty-seven cents, and they gave me fifteen thousand one hundred and eighty-seven dollars. Now that's more than what I owe on the car, but like I said, I qualified for a rebate, and that rebate was a total of one thousand four hundred and twenty-three dollars and some change. So I got my car paid off. Plus, I got additional 14, 1400 bucks. Now, back to this 48, you know, it's $48,750. Now, I'm not fucking paying that. Don't ever pay sticker. I, I know way too much to know that I have to get this price taken down. So, we going back and forth. You know, we going back and forth and we discussing prices. Mind you, this car was not at the dealership, so they had to go get it from California. Another dealership which uh, brings on more fees which later down the line, I got those waves that well, uh, uh, waved as well. So so from $48,750, I got this car down to $44,250. That's $4,500 off MSRP. Okay, so now we got the car paid off, plus we got additional $1,400 Plus, we didn't got this car MSRP down to $44,250. Now, here come, like, you know, the little add-ons, the small little add-ons. Red Alert, $600. Bucks. Poly Steel, $1,200. Uh, the Air and the Tires, $200. Bucks. GPS Tracking, $300. Now... Some people are like, oh, you should have got that shit waived. You can't get these, this, you can't get this stuff waived because this is add on to the vehicles. So I also qualified to an, for another rebate. In February, you know, they was running specials. So I got a rebate of uh, seven, like I said, $1,750. So all those fees I just read off to you that rebate covered all that. This is not the rebate from the trade in. This is another rebate. So I got it. All those basically paid for with the rebate. So from $44,250, that's the base price. And with the fees and then the rebate, they only took the total up from to $44,780. So that's only an additional five hundred and thirty dollars which those add-ons totaled up to you know basically just eyeballing it like two thousand a little bit over two thousand then minus the rebate so we only rolled over five hundred and thirty dollars from all those fees because their rebate took you know took uh pretty much of that up so now we at forty four thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars so now you got your doc you know your doc fee which is four ninety seven uh, consumer services that's twenty nine ninety five. Smog fee thirty seven fifty, and sales tax twenty four sixty six. So that brings the total to forty seven thousand eight hundred and nine dollars and eighty eight cents. Now, now this is when where the uh you know the trade in 
the trade and rebate comes into play. And it, I also put down $3,500. So with that trade and rebate, that was four, that was $1,423 plus my down payment. That totaled up to a, a new down payment of $4,923. So that's my $3,500 plus the rebate. So once you minus that from what uh, the 47, you basically get $4,000, So. $42,886.50, and that's with taxes, everything. That's the amount that I had to finance. So now everything after that, like everything after this, that's depending on your credit. Me personally, I had a 796. So I know a lot of people are like, well, how much you pay a month? That's not going to help you out because unless you got a 796, uh, you walking in with 3,500 and like your credit situation is the same as mine, so you're not going to be paying what I'm paying. What I'm telling you basically is, you know, on how much I pay for the car, how much I pay for the car, how to get, you know, discounts on the car and, you know, what I got for my trade in. You go into a dealership, if you know what you're looking for, not only know what you're looking for, but have knowledge. You know, you can't sit at the table and say what you want to if you don't have nothing to bag it. Luckily for me, I had leverage. You know, I knew my credit score was perfect. I mean, not perfect, but it was a 796. I knew I had, I knew I was willing to put 3,500 down. And, you know, I just, I did a lot of research and I knew how to talk to dealers, you know. I didn't even talk to a salesperson. I was talking strictly to a floor manager because I had already surpassed, you know, surpassed the salesperson. I knew way more than he did so he went and got his floor manager and from there i was only talking to the floor manager and the fucking gm you know and we worked out a deal and i basically like you know i got this car for a steal and, and i drove out the lot so this just you know going over what i paid for the car you know my credit situation how much you know they gave it for my car and you know hopefully this helped people out you know like i said when you go in a dealership know what you're talking about do your research, know where you stand on what you own in your car, how much you're willing to put down and where your credit score is. Was on my grind, it was my time. I ain't think twice, I paid that price and we did this, nigga. Look, reached every goal I said I had to sit back down and rearrange that list, nigga. Look, now I'm out here getting rich.